Dr. Duck Von, world famous bariatric surgeon, author of 13 books. I've been giving you updates about coronavirus because that's what affects my fan base, the number one risk factor for poor out. I lost my feed. We're going to talk about the new strain. We're going to talk about the new strain from of uh, coronavirus, hot off the presses from uh, from UK. This new strain of coronavirus is the hottest thing since the Beatles came to the U.S. Okay, so number one, uh, I want you to know it's confirmed. New UK strain. Okay. There's no jokes about it. It's not a conspiracy. At first I thought it was maybe a conspiracy, but it's confirmed. They had the DNA analysis. They know it's different. They know where it's different and all that jazz. Okay. So it is a confirmed new strain. Uncle Billy's of the world can stop it with the conspiracy theories. This is now confirmed. Now, let me tell you a little bit about it. Some of it is very frightening. Some of it is like, okay, kind of expected that. All right. Uh, number two, they actually found this new strain back in September. They started kind of looking at it and they didn't announce it. They're wondering what was happening to it. They found it in September. So the new strain is more virulent. That means it's easier to catch. Um, it transmits from person to person much easier. In fact, some people suggest that the virulence is 70%, seven zero, 70% 70 more virulent than run of the mill <laughs> coronavirus. Fucking 2020, what the hell? Like we shut down the world because of this crazy new virus called coronavirus, you know, this this SARS-CoV-2. And now there's an even more virulent one, 70% more virulent. Now, the good, that's the bad news. The good news is it does not appear, let me put number three, let's do this. <laughs> does not appear to be more lethal. But it's going to spread, um, you know, <laughs> like a whore in a work camp. <laughs> it's going to spread. It's going to be on fire, right? But the good news is it doesn't appear to be more lethal as far as they can tell, okay? It is much more virulent. In fact, in London, 60, 60 <laughs> percent of the coronavirus cases are now with this new strain. What? Holy fucking hell. What the heck? In Southeast UK, 60% of all coronavirus cases is this new strain. So it spreads more. Vaccines probably will work on it. We're not 100% sure. Oh, hell, I need 100%. There ain't nothing a hundred percent in life. What is the only thing that's guaranteed in life? Death and taxes, death and taxes, right? Those are the only two things guaranteed in life. Um, nothing's a hundred percent. We think that the vaccines will work on it. Why Dr. V? Why Dr. V? It's because the mutation part that happened with this virus does not seem to be on the major spike protein that the vaccines are targeting. So we have pretty good confidence that the vaccines will work on it. Now, number five, and please don't dismiss this. Uh, and also don't, don't discount number five. It is basic virology that you guys wanna know. Viruses mutate often. That's what viruses do. They mutate, okay? Their whole purpose is to get, um, to spread. Now, some viruses do it better than others, right? So the measles uh, uh, virus does not mutate. It The surface proteins on the measles, uh, you know, it, it does not mutate. So that way we have one vaccine for, for measles, one for chicken pox. 
and they last a lifetime pretty much pretty much okay now some mutate all the time like influenza influenza a and b and that's why you constantly every single year have to get a flu vaccine i don't get the flu vaccine i'm not an anti-vaxxer i myself personally do not get the flu vaccine i've said that several times i have all my childhood vaccines immunizations polio all that stuff so i'm not an anti-vaxxer i highly recommend if you're high risk and if you choose to do so get vaccinated it is super important uh, but for the seasonal flu vaccine, I don't take it. I found, I found that for me personally, I got sicker, I got sicker worse. I got sicker longer whenever I took the vet flu vaccine. Um, and I haven't had the flu. I've had the flu twice in the last, I would say 15 years, 15 years of not taking the flu vaccine. Um, so that's just me. I'm relatively young. I'm a hardy 48. I know that sounds weird. 5 is around the corner for me. <sighs> That's all right. My girlfriend's 20, 29. Just turned 29. I, I keep saying she's 28, but she just turned 29. But um, so I'm not an anti-vaxxer. If you're high risk, definitely get this vaccine. What we know is the vaccine will probably work. We're hoping between two to three years. The coronavirus vaccine will work between two or three years. And no, it doesn't really matter which one you take between the Pfizer and the Moderna. They use the same. Yet um, the Oxford one, the AstraZeneca, also known as Oxford vaccine, um, has a total different one, a different method. They use an older technology, very cheap. Um, and then also the um, uh, there's a Johnson Johnson vaccine. That's a single dose vaccine. Uh, but for the ones that are currently approved, the Moderna and the Pfizer, uh, that probably doesn't matter which one you get, quite honestly. But viruses mutate often. And what do they change? They change their surface proteins. So imagine this is the virus, right? I mean, they do happy COVID virus, coronavirus. I'm a little coronavirus. And it's called coronavirus, if you recall, because it has little spikes on its surface. And these little spikes are what helps it attach to cells to get into your type one and type two pneumocytes. It's a lung cell, that's, they're called pneumocytes. See, told you I was really a doctor. And these spike proteins, um, it's the surface that uh, usually changes, usually, not always. Now, what I like to say um, from my very good friend, Dr. Terry Simpson, if you don't know who he is, he's a bariatric surgeon who also uh, studied virology and actually did the whole test lab and things like that for years um, before he decided to become a surgeon. So he's an actual virologist turned surgeon. Uh, he describes it like this. Give him a follow if you don't. Terry Simpson, T-E-R-R-Y Simpson. But he says mutations are like this. Imagine you have a big book, <laughs> the big book, you know, like uh, War and Peace, huge 700 page book. Some of y'all watching me, the Bible, the wilderness God, the Bible. You know, you take the Bible, you change a couple of words. No, that's not. Here comes, here comes the messages. Don't fuck with my Bible, Dr. V. All right, forget the Bible. All right, War and Peace. Big, <laughs> we'll go back to War and Peace. Big book. If you change one or two words in the book, it's still war and peace. In fact, the the book, the, the, the novel war and peace, depending on which copy you have, probably has typos in it. It's still war and peace. And in fact, you could even go so far as to change an entire sentence and it's still war and peace. In fact, you could even tear out a page and it's still war and peace. So mutations for viruses are a lot like this. I hope that makes sense. Please put a one in the comment section if what I just said makes sense. Even though you get a mutation in a virus, it's not a significant mutation. And that way the virus still acts and behaves the same. So please put a one in the comment section if that was a helpful analogy to you. Look at all these ones, Jessica, AC, Rubina, Lynn, Awesome, Heather, appreciate it. Brandon Palmer, Trudy, Terry, Deborah, any more want? Lots of ones coming through. Sally, Jacqueline, Steve, Jessica, awesome. Love it. All these ones are flying through. 
Okay, so you know now that um, just because a virus mutates doesn't mean it's any worse. It just so happens, and in fact, they've had several strains of these, by the way, and, I, and I'll talk about this here in a little bit. Um, it just so it just so happens this new one, and they're calling it the UK strain because they came from the UK, right? <laughs> it's a China virus. <laughs> this UK variant is um, more virulent, so it's easier to catch, seventy percent easier to catch, but not any different in terms of illness and lethality and sure should work with a vaccine. Okay. Now what number are we on? Can someone tell me what I'm, I, I lost my number? What, was that four or five? Five. I think I did five. I'll go to six. Number six real quick. Six. Okay. There is also now some people know about this. Uh, and some people don't, no big deal. I, we, we don't know if anything is going to come from this. There's actually a South African mutation also. <laughs> Viruses mutate. That's what they do. Now, if it becomes prevalent enough, if it becomes bad enough that, that they have to keep an eye on it, then, then if we hear about it, then we know it's something significant. Does that make sense? So we know it's made mass international news about this UK virus. We're gonna get back to the, the variant. So we know it's bad. Does that make sense? There's also a South African mutation that we don't, that's not widely known. And we have to wait and see what happens. But the fact that we know that there is a South African mutation that means it's probably more, it's probably worse than we think so far. We just haven't heard about it yet. The people in the know know. So keeping your eye out for this South African mutation. Let's go back to the Brit, the Brit, the UK one. Okay. Some people don't realize this, but this new K, the new UK virus is out. Hey guys, it has left the island. It is the Beatles. The Beatles have left UK. Uh, this virus has now been confirmed. The exact same strain mutation has been found in Denmark, the Netherlands, and Australia. Luckily for Australia, it was just two cases so far. And, you, and Australia has been one of the stalwarts, the examples of what to do during this pandemic. Their life has pretty much gone back to normal. They still mask, socially distance. They still take it very seriously. And it still made it to Australia. Okay, now why did you come here? Because Dr. V um, gives it to you straight. Can I have an amen please? Can I have an amen if Dr. V gives it to you straight? All right, because the people that are in the news are not gonna say this. We need to stop travel from the UK to the United States. There's a couple of countries that have banned or have stopped or paused travel from the UK for 24 hours starting midnight last night for one fucking day. What the hell? What is that supposed to do? Why are you stopping travel? This Euro train, Euro pass flights from the UK for 24 hour. What the hell? And in the US, we're still debating it. In fact, Dr. Fauci, who I deeply respect, was on the news tonight saying, we don't need to overreact. It's not a reason to shut down complete travel from the UK, but it's something we need to be considering. What the fuck is wrong with our leadership? Dude, okay, dude. I'm gonna take it one step further, number nine. We need to, we need to stop all flights from the UK to the United States, period. End of story, it shouldn't be a debate, it shouldn't be questioned, it shouldn't be whatever. All right. And that means, listen to me, we need to, if we know it's already in Denmark, we know it's in the Netherlands, we need to stop flights from that, those countries also, which probably really means we need to stop flights from Germany, France, et cetera. No, we still have international travel. This is problematic. Okay. Let me finish with this and I will let you go enjoy your dinner. Okay. 
here's my prediction. Prediction. DR, you know, Dr. V, some of y'all love me, some of y'all hate me. Some of y'all think like I've been on the mark for most part. <laughs> uh, and here is my uh, very unpopular Dr. V prediction. I'm going to tell you the new UK strain is already in the United States. You heard it here first. I'm calling it. I'm predicting it. This new UK strain is already in the United States. How can it not fucking be? If I promise you it's in New York City. This new strain is in fucking New York City and New Jersey right now. How do I know? Where do they fly in? From London to New York City to New Jersey. That's how they fly into the United States. They don't fly in from London to go around the globe to Los Angeles. They freaking hop across the pond to New York. So this new strain is gone, is already in New York and New Jersey. I promise you, 110%, I promise you, okay? And we're gonna start seeing it pop. They haven't detected it yet. They're looking for it. They might have already found it. They just haven't told us. Doesn't matter because you know, it's not deadlier. It doesn't make you any sicker, but it's much more fucking virulent. Okay. It spreads. And you know how America is doing. How is America doing, by the way, with this virus? Los Angeles hit 14,000 cases yesterday. 14,000 cases in one day. Ah, oh, we're all right. We don't need to shut down. Our governor's crazy. Our mayor's an idiot. We're protesting. We're having boat parades. We well, can't make a stop. What the fuck is wrong with these Californians? All right. And Mayor Cuomo, and I'm not political. He just happens to be a Democrat. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I don't really care. And he's like, dude, we need to shut down London because you know, we need to shut down incoming flights because we know where this is headed. He has some sense. The new UK strain is already in the United States. I promise you they just haven't found it yet. Okay. Now, what happens when we combine a much more virulent strain plus the American attitude? And I'll finish it with that. Number 10, this new more virulent UK strain plus American attitudes plus Christmas equals disaster. All right. I've been telling you guys that the peak in mid-January, the peak is coming in mid-January. It's going to be awful. If you didn't see my video yesterday, Five, four to five million Americans traveled for Thanksgiving. Four to five million Americans traveled for Thanksgiving. For Christmas, it's predicted that 85 million Americans are going to travel for the holidays. 85 million. Thanksgiving was four million. I'll give you five million. Five million people. 85 million for the holidays. <clears throat> we see what's happening with Thanksgiving surge now. Two weeks from now, three weeks from now, it's going to be a shit show, a disaster. Plus, this new, more virulent strain is here in the United States. They just haven't told you. Y'all don't know about it. You know about it because you heard from me. That's it.